In Azerbaijan, the oil has been flowing for centuries. So my name is Yashar. Uh, Original, I'm from Azerbaijan, uh, Baku. For now, I'm cycling uh, around the world. I mean, uh, for now, Europe and uh, soon Africa. The country is oil and gas rich country. They even call it land of fire. What I know, uh, people don't benefit uh, from oil and gas that Azerbaijan has. It goes to some certain uh, hands. Uh, the ordinary people in Azerbaijan don't see or don't benefit anything from it. Um, uh, mostly the rich people, the people who are in the power. So they are controlling this oil and gas business in Azerbaijan. It brings money to Azerbaijani budget, but it also brings big troubles to Azerbaijan. So uh, people in the world, they see that Azerbaijani people uh, are happy and they live rich life because of, because of oil and gas. But in reality, it's not like that. Most people, they are poor. Um, they don't have some special luxury life. Uh, we have, we have uh, still areas that has electricity problem, water issues. People are in power, they, they are rich, but ordinary people, they are poor. So, yeah. Uh, I would say oil and gas uh, brought more trouble than the happiness to Azerbaijani people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how is the political situation in, in Azerbaijan? Who is in the power and how, how oh. they work? Um, the political situation is in Azerbaijan. Um, the, the first of all, my, my trips, all the cycling trips are dedicated to democracy and freedom in Azerbaijan. So uh, as I love cycling uh, and traveling around the world, um, I decided to uh, dedicate my trips to uh, political uh, issues in Azerbaijan, uh, to bring awareness uh, how the real situation in Azerbaijan is. Um, so um, how many prisoners we have in the uh, in the jail behind the bars in a reality we don't have any freedom of speech no freedom of expression uh, we have so many journalists uh, in, in prison we have activists um, uh, human rights defenders we call them uh, prisoners of conscience so more than 90 people are in prison in Azerbaijan if you try to say something against the government you know that soon uh, you are going to be in the same situation behind the bars. Some of them are journalists who uh, investigated uh, corruption in Azerbaijan related to the fam to the presidential family. Some of them uh, organized uh, our friends uh, peaceful protest uh, in Azerbaijan in order to stop the killings uh, in the military service in Azerbaijan. Killings uh, among the soldiers, I mean. Uh, the bad relationship between the officers and the soldiers. So that, that's the shame, that's a real shame, putting the journalists behind the bars and saying that, uh, no, we have the democracy, we have the uh, freedom of speech. Well, that's really shame, yeah.